Hello everyone. So I found this article from Teslarati and it appears that uh, Tesla has brought back the Park Assist measurement feature uh, for vision only cars. So recently Tesla got rid of uh, the ultrasonic sensors that were in the front and rear, basically in the bumper bumpers. You would see these little round circles uh, in the front and back. Well, they got rid of those and for a period of time there was no uh, park assist uh, measurement, which when you were parking, when you were moving really slow, these sensors would detect any objects nearby and tell you how close you were to them, which was a really nice feature for parking to know exactly how many uh, centimeters, in my case, how many centimeters you were away from an object and then it would count down as you got closer. So that feature was gone for a while while they were shipping these new cars with without this ultrasonic sensors. But now apparently in this update 2022.45.11, they've brought it back and made it even better potentially. This uh, tweet from Green the Only here shows that the car now um, measures 360 degrees around the car, whereas before it was just in front and back. And it looks like the visualization shows uh, shows more detail. This article mentions that it's only for customers in the United States and Canada who have purchased FSD and have access to the FSD beta program. So unfortunately, if you're outside of North America, it looks like you're not going to get it yet, but I imagine eventually it will roll out to other countries. And this is kind of what Tesla does. Uh, Elon has been known to say that the best part is no part. So getting rid of these ultrasonic sensors and using the, the cameras to achieve the same goal, uh, if they can make it work as good or, or even potentially better than what the ultrasonic sensors did, it's, well, it's already saving them uh, a lot of money per car because now you don't have this sensor suite with all the wiring and time to install it etc looks like they'll make it work you know you have all these cameras looking around the car so they just need to adjust the software which it looks like they're already getting there it'll help to make the cars more affordable so yeah i just wanted to give that update this morning my name is evan bertrand this is the evergreen channel thanks for watching